Hi, welcome to Gigi Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to do the reading for the sign of Capricorn. Please be aware that this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, you can always check the video related to your Venus, Moon, or Rising sign. So let's start and see what's the energy for Capricorn today and for the next few days coming. What's the energy for Capricorn today and the next few days that are coming? What's the energy? What's in the air? For Capricorn for the next few days. What's in the air for the Capricorn for the next few days? What's in the air for Capricorn in the next few days? This is a big deck sometimes. You know I have a hard time shuffling them. It's not quite easy. But I love the pictures. They're very beautiful, inspiring. So that's why I love using them anyways. So what I do, I pre-shuffle them and then I do a small shuffle with the energy of the sign that I'm doing. So it helps. So let's see. What's the energy for Capricorn in the next few days? What's the message for Capricorn? Bottom of the deck, page of wands. Well, Capricorn, it's a week that that is start that is starting very well. Um, whatever project you in or whatever uh, things that you have in mind to do, you're going straight forward. You know, you're you're, you know, you you driving through it <laughs> driving driving toward it like the the, the the car the chariot here you were in your mind or resting for a couple of uh couple of uh, days or weeks before maybe something happened maybe you weren't too sure the direction that you were going to take but now you made you made up your mind and um and decided to look beyond you know, with the moon, we're always asking what's the mist. Uh, it's always about mystery, the shadow side, um, the dark side of the things that we don't want to see, the, the other side. So you decided to go forward. And um, with the page of went, you're starting a project. Starting a project, starting a relationship, starting whatever, but you're starting something. You're going through it. You're going toward it. So let's see. What else can you clarify the moon for for Capricorn? Can you clarify the moon for Capricorn? What, what is uh, that mystery project that you're working on? Can you clarify the moon for Capricorn? Can you clarify the moon? We still have the same information that you're going forward with something. You're leaving, you're leaving a bad situation behind. Maybe it was a job that you didn't like. Maybe uh, it was a relationship that you weren't comfortable in. Um, you decided to take uh, with the Six of Swords the road towards something new. That's what we're seeing. Even with the Three of Winds. Um, even with the Three of Wands, we see that you're going toward a project you decided, like with the Page of Wands before, uh, that you're going forward. The only thing is, you still have doubts. Usually the King of Swords is someone that is really rational, uh, it speak their mind, or uh, they speak their mind, they're sure about themselves, but here it's in the reverse position. It's like you, you still have some doubts about uh, whatever project you're going forward. So now I want to know the project, what kind of project, well, what is it that, oh, we have one flying. What is it that um, Capricorn is working on? You know, is it love? Is it work? What is it? What is it 
in the next few days that Capricorn is working on. What is it in the next few days that Capricorn is working toward? Please clarify. What is it? So we'll take this one. Okay. okay, it's quite fine. You're leaving behind your relationship with the, the cups here, the five of cups. You, you've been disappointed about the relationship. Uh, it wasn't clear. It wasn't, the, the situation wasn't clear. There wasn't enough com com communication. It started to be a burden for you. It's like you were... You, you were doing all the work to keep that relationship going. And it was mostly hurting you with the tree of sword here. You felt betrayed, possibly a tree, uh, uh, a tree, uh, a relationship involving a third party. Uh, and with the, the seven of sword here, you've seen that uh, either you've been cheating on, lie of, and the person didn't think that you were um, you were gonna know about it. So it seems to be about love that situation that you're moving behind. Maybe that's why we had here where I, I feel we had here the moon saying that it's like you discover something that was in the shadow that you weren't expecting to see, and that's why you decided to just move on, move on from the heartache, move on uh, from to go towards something else. But still, with the King of Sword reverse, we still can see that you're still in your heart. You know, you're not quite sure that's what you want. You know, the decision is not uh, cut dry. So this is what happening right now. So what might the future hold for um, for Capricorn in the next few days? What is the future hold in the next few days for Capricorn? What is the future hold for the next few days for Capricorn? What does the future hold for the next few days for Capricorn? What does the future hold? You will take the first one that flew out. You're going to decide to end the relationship. You know, with that Ace of Sword here, you decide to go forward towards something that's going to make you happier. So this is it. That's the decision for the next few days. The, the, the decision is going to clarify itself the, concerning that relationship. You, I know you deserve better. We all deserve better in love. We want something that's going to make us happy. And you're moving toward that Ten of Cups. Knowing if you're going to meet someone or someone new, it's too early to say because we asked for the next few days, so leave it be. I'm just going to take a Morocco card for you and see um, what is the Oracle message for you, Capricorn. What the Oracle message for Capricorn? What is the Oracle message for Capricorn? What is the Oracle message for Capricorn? What is the Oracle message? For Capricorn, karmic relationship. So we have here karmic relationship, fleeting, triggering, turmoil, uh, resentment, lesson, let it go, loving you. Wow, it's really go with what we just said. You were, it's something that you needed to learn from. You know, um, by experience in life, Always all the relationship that I had that didn't work, I gained something from it. You know, I learned something from it. Either it was good or bad, but I always came out of it like a some someone that grew. So um, taking as a lesson, whatever was happening in the shadow, the red flags and everything you saw from it, you also see what is your toler tolerance 
in a situation and what you need to you know now um that it's better to leave something behind for you to grow and maybe in act not maybe that going towards something that would fulfill you totally okay so that's the message for you uh, capricorn for the situation that's going on right now so I hope that the reading resonate with you today. If it did, please subscribe to hear more uh, of them uh, f uh, during the, the, the months. And um, I wish you a good day, a good evening, and um, au revoir.